what is up beauty babes i am finally finally coming on here to post a video that has been highly requested i've been at been asked to post this video like a million times and youtube is stressful like and i'm a perfectionist and if it's not exactly what i want how i want it at the time like it's not happening so i am finally posting my everyday makeup routine um i've tested out some new products that i just bought the other day and i'm really happy with them um but yeah this is what i do on an almost daily basis don't don't clock me because i don't always do this but um i would say you know when i have the time to do it or you know when i'm going somewhere i'm not like this isn't my full glam like beat to the gods you know um for some people it still might be a lot of makeup and i get that and i will post later a um you know more like natural uh everyday you know 10 minute work beat type of video but this is like my you know everyday glam you know um that i do when i'm just going out or you know sometimes for work work i kind of do the other thing but um i'm rambling anyway this is my routine um finally posting it sorry it took me so long i hope you guys enjoy uh make sure that you like comment and subscribe and yeah let's get into the video so i'm starting off with a fresh face eyebrows already done i'll do a separate tutorial on those um i'm priming with the elf poreless putty primer it's drugstore primer i think it's like eight dollars um and it's comparable to the tatcha Whatever the Tatcha primer is that everybody likes, but it's the drugstore version. This next tip is from my oily girls. I got this from Auntie Jackie, Jackie Ina. It is to set your face in your T-zone, wherever you're oily, with a face powder. So I'm doing that before I go in with my foundation. This is the new NYX Born to Glow Foundation. I would compare it to the drugstore version of NARS Radiant Longwear. It's a medium coverage foundation as you can see here, but it is buildable so you can get a full coverage finish with it if you add a second layer. Um, it's just mattifying, but also with a really hydrating finish. I'm really liking it. Um, I'm really into more hydrating foundations these days as opposed to super, super matte. So I'm really digging this foundation right now. Another tip to add to the longevity of your makeup is to mix setting spray in throughout your makeup routine. It just helps to help um, your makeup last longer, it doesn't hurt or anything. Now I'm going in with the NYX Born to Glow Concealer. I've actually been using this concealer longer than I've been using the foundation, which is why I wanted to try the foundation. It's the same type of finish as the foundation um, matte, but still leaves a hydrating finish. Um, and this I just apply all over my face in the areas that I want to highlight. I know this tutorial isn't like super in depth. I will record a more like talk through detailed tutorial, but on a daily basis, I be just trying to get in and get out and get it done. So this is just me doing it. I'm not really technical or like precise with how I apply it. I'm just getting it done. And then after that, I will go in with a concealer color, a couple shades brighter. Um, this is to highlight. This is only under my eyes and like on my chin area. And then like I did it on my nose and like my forehead. But um, this is just to highlight again to make it even brighter. I like a really bright under eye. The best way to get the best coverage with your concealer is not to fully blend it out. I usually just tap it lightly underneath my eye and then blend out the edges. And that really helps you to get the best and most full coverage with your concealer. Oops, this is blended. Okay. Anyway, next I am going to go in with my setting powder. Now, first I do like a light set um, and I do bake afterwards, but I really don't be baking. I'm just flexing for YouTube right now. Um, but sometimes I do. So this is me trying to bake and also choking on my setting powder. After a couple minutes, you're just going to dust that off. I tap it in first and then dust um just to press that into my face and then i go in with my a foundation colored uh, powder and set the rest of my face next up is bronzing i really don't contour in the more in-depth 
tutorial I will show you how I do contour but on a daily basis I really just bronze to warm up my face warm up the perimeter so that's what I'm doing now just going around my forehead or my cheekbones and then I'll get to my nose again not precise I don't really be caring <laughs> um, this is not like super pinched super snatched but I do go across the I guess that's the bridge just to add like a little button nose effect but that's like the most detailed I get with my nose uh, I guess it is nose contour but that's my browsing routine for blush I'm going in with this isn't it peachy palette by makeup obsession I found this randomly at Target but I like the color so I'm applying that peachy tone to my cheeks and my little nose I love a nose blush so I'm applying that and then going in with my favorite highlighter by wet and wild the awesome blossom color don't don't come for me I put my highlight too high anyway I'm applying my highlighter on my cheekbones and then on my nose the little button nose and up the bridge um, just to highlight and also under my eyebrows next I'm going in with mascara before I add falsies applying that to my lashes and clearly also my eyelid annoying anyway um, this is a bomb mascara um, side note does anybody else make this ugly behind face when they're adding mascara to the bottom lashes just me okay anyway those are the lashes you can stop here but I'm gonna add falsies so I'm gonna put those on off camera and come back just kidding i'm gonna apply my lipstick first first lining my lips with a nyx espresso liner um i like an ombre lip nude lip but ombre so i'm lining it and then filling in the outer corners before i go in with my matte lip cream also by nyx this is in london i usually use abu dhabi but for some reason i don't know where that's at so we're using london it's basically the same color but anyway this is my nude lip combo go to every day love it now that i am done that i'm going to actually apply my lashes so here she is all lashed up and i'm going to now set my face with setting spray and take a beauty blender and uh, blend all that in it just creates a better finish melt it into the skin all that all that and that is the finished look sis is cute sis is snatch ah 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 um just kidding but yeah this is the finished look this is my go-to everyday glam i hope you guys enjoyed again like comment and subscribe and please stay tuned for my next video bye